Hello everyone, welcome to second episode of Muscle Love System Design course and I hope you've already seen the first video. If not, guys, treat it as a golden opportunity. Nobody from the industry is gonna teach you these concepts for free with 8 years of experience. For those who don't know me, let me introduce myself. I am Sanchit Dudeja, working at SDB and having 8 plus years of experience building complex scalable systems that has business critical impact. For those who are in college and they think they can live without learning system design, guys, you are mistaken. You will understand its importance the day you will enter the industry. You will yourself see that there will be so many code review comments on your PRs and you will not be pleased seeing those up. Then you will understand the urge to improve on a low level system design, which I am stating soon. You learn those up sooner the better. Without further ado, let's get started with factory design pattern. And guys, do watch this video till the very end because I'm going to explain all the patterns with practical examples and in-depth code analysis. So put your hands together for factory design pattern. So let's get started with factory design pattern. Consider a case you are interested in buying a Maruti car. You go to its showroom and ask for a hatchback. They give you Wagner. If you are interested in buying a sedan, then they offer you Sias. And for the third case, if you're interested in buying an SUV, then they give you Brezza. Depending upon your budget, you can make a choice and request them to give you your respective car. And if you have understood this example, then you have understood factory design pattern. Why I am saying this? Time to hit the definition. The factory design pattern is used when you have a super class with multiple subclasses and based on your input, you need to return one of the subclass. So the Maruti, Maruti showroom is acting as the factory. The super class in this case turns out to be the Maruti car and multiple subclasses would be the instances of Brezza, Sias and Wagner. And based on your input, whether you are interested in a hatchback, SUV or sedan, this factory returns you the output. Make sense? Time to hit the code. For the sake of simplicity, I have created a vehicle interface and it has two methods in it, get engine CC and get price. These are like two code components of any car. And for the sake of simplicity, I have kept it only two. Going ahead, I have created an abstract class which implements the vehicle interface and this car actually maps through the Maruti car. There are three core implementations of these car classes. Uh, the first one is Brezza extends car. It has overridden both these methods, get engine CC and get price. The price is 9 lakhs and engine CC is 1500. Similarly, I have created the Sias class and the Wagner class. Now let's talk about the core showroom or Maruti car factory. It has one constructor in it. It is a default constructor, but the area of interest lies in get car method. It accepts the car type and car type is an enum which I have defined. It has three possible values. The first one is hatchback, sedan and SUV. Whatever parameter is passed to this get car method as car type, on the basis of that, a decision is made by the factory which car to return. And in case it is sedan, we return the new instance of Sias. In case it is an SUV, we return a new instance of Brezza. And in case it's hatchback, we return new instance of Wagner. And let's see this implementation of Maruti car factory live in action. How can we create new instances using this Maruti car factory class? I've created a test data and uh, the car type that I'm interested right now happens to be sedan. I created a new instance of Maruti car factory. Remember, I'm not running a server. In case I am running a Spring Boot application, then this Maruti car factory would be auto-wired and singleton in nature. Going ahead, what do I do? I simply request the Maruti car factory to give me a new instance of car depending upon my car type. And once I have my car, remember, this is the abstract instance, not the absolute class. I simply print those up. Now let's run it up. And as you can see, a new car with instance Sias has been created. It has 1500 CC at a price of 13 lakhs. 
Now you will ask me what advantages do we get by using such a, a factory kind of a pattern and it makes your code cleaner. You are programming to an interface rather than an implementation. It is less coupled and easy to extend. However, there is still a catch and that catch is this get car method that we have exposed in Maruti car factory. As you can see, we have conditional statements in this method and think of the case where there could be multiple parameters passed to this method. The switch case will become so cumbersome to counter this up abstract factory comes to rescue. And let's see how and what abstract factory is all about. Instead of making Maruti car factory as concrete class, we make it abstract in nature and we expose another method public abstract car dot get car. We have created three more factory class, one for each instance, Sias car factory, Wagner car factory and uh, Breda car factory. These implementations would simply extend Maruti car factory and override the get car method. Here you can see the new instance of Sias will be returned and it is pretty simple and straightforward. In Sias car factory, only Sias car instances would be returned. Similar is the case with Wagner car factory. And now let's talk about the test class. How are we going to build this code up? So what do we do? We simply create the our target car factory class. That means in this case, we are, we are interested in creating a Wagner class. So what do we do? We create a new instance of Wagner car factory and using that car factory instance, we simply ask it to return the car. Remember here, the reference point would be car, not Wagner car. It is the responsibility of the car factory to return it appropriately. And let's try and run this up. As you can see, the Wagner car instance has been returned with 1200 CSC at 5 lakhs of rupees. Again, in a Spring Boot application, this Wagner car factory would be an auto wired singleton instance if you are running it on a server. What advantages this kind of implementation provides? We have skipped any conditional logic as that was in factory design pattern. It makes our code cleaner and robust in nature. Really enjoyed the, the entire session. The next session that I'm going to have would be on structural design pattern, which will come next week very soon. Till then, goodbye, take care. And guys, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It means a lot to me as a lot of effort goes in creating these videos. Thank you. Bye bye. सब्सक्राइब नहीं किया अभी तक कब करोगे यार कब करोगे अब तो कर दो